Hey everyone, welcome to the brand new video series of Azure DevOps. I'm going to post 30 videos in 30 days. This is day two. In our last video, we have created this sales project based upon agile process. In this video, what we are going to do is we are going to compare what are the various processes available in Azure DevOps. If you're new to my channel, hit subscribe. Your subscription will motivate me to produce more video in better quality. So first of all, let's understand what is a process. As I said in last video, Azure DevOps boards is used to track and manage work. Let's say for example, I have assigned five tasks to Ashok and six tasks to Devi. So what is the task it is to whom it is assigned? So what is the progress of those tasks? How much got completed? So likewise, you can track your work for tracking these works. You have four different processes available in Azure DevOps, basic scrum, agile and CMMA. You can decide which process is suitable for your team. Just note that whatever the process you select is actually specific to Azure DevOps boards. Repository, pipeline and artifacts will remain same for all four processes. There won't be any difference among it. This sales project is created based upon agile process. I'm going to create projects based upon each process and we will compare them. So let me create a new project and just go under advanced and select basic. I'm going to create two other projects as well based upon CMMI and Scrum. Let me fast forward this content. So now we have four different projects of four different processes. Let me open all four projects in different, different tabs so that we can compare. So this is basic project. So under boards, just directly navigate to work item. And if you just click on new work item, you will get to see the type of work item. So Epic is one type issue and then task. So similarly, let me show in other processes as well. This is created by agile process. And if you see here under work item, you will see bug, epic, feature, issue, task, test case and, and user story. And similarly, CMMI has these many and scrum has these many work item. Actually, you could customize these work item as well. You can change the logo. You can create one more work item type. So we will see that in an elaborated way in a different video. Now let me switch to the basic one. So this is basic project. Here you can create a work item from here itself. Just click on epic or issue or task from here itself. And it will open a pop up where you need to fill this detail. Just click on back to work item. The other way is you can directly go to boards. And here, if you see, you will find a drop down, Epic or issue. So switch to Epic or issue if you want to create, go to issues. And here, if you see, these are the various stages. Let's say, for example, this task is currently in to do and we are currently doing it and we have completed it. So likewise, you can mark state as well. Let me show what it is showing up in Agile. So here, if you see new active resolve and close is there. And if you click on new item, you can create it is currently in user stories. So here you can create one story. As simple as that. And you could change the state by just by drag and drop or you can select from the drop down as well. Here you are seeing the hierarchy level of each processes first let's have a look at basic if you see epic is at the top and issue and task are at the product backlog level similarly for agile epic and future are at the higher level whereas user story and task are at uh, product backlog level and it has bugs and issues as well in case if you have uh, any issues associated with it to track so this kind of hierarchy will help you to plan your work better and if you see for scrum and cmmi this is the hierarchy. We are going to cover a lot of concepts in upcoming videos. So stay subscribed and wait for my next video. Don't forget to follow me on LinkedIn and I will be providing the WhatsApp and Telegram link in the video description. Please do join.